What's happening, friends? Sean Fury here, Mr. Hero Support, Hero Support Guy, your friendly neighborhood guide to the good life. Hope you're doing well. Uh, tonight I was just thinking a little bit about how when I was a kid, you know, I'm a child of the early 90s, late 80s. I think I'm in Generation X. I used to play a lot of Super Mario Brothers. And if you remember Super Mario, you know, it's a lot of fun. And uh, you're, there's a lot of levels in the game and... Just like Joel Osteen says in his Sunday services, new levels, new devils. There's always something new that you've got to jump over or get around, you know, some fireball sticks or some little mushroom guys or the King Koopa, whatever, guy, dragon guy that throws fireballs at you, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. You've got to go through bad weather, you know, icy lands. You've got to... Uh, speed up sometimes and run and dive and twirl around in a little ball or whatever, you know, and slide through little cracks and openings in order to make it through obstacles and opposition. And it just kind of dawned on me a minute ago that life is a lot like that sometimes. And I think that's true, you know, that life can sometimes be understood a little easier when you think of a video game like Super Mario, where you're on a particular level, right? And in order to complete the level, you have to learn a lesson. And the way that you demonstrate that you've learned the lesson is to use a certain behavioral key, a behavior key, I call it. So you can think of it as that you're on kind of a road of trials, right? And the only way to unlock a better life or the next level of your life is to demonstrate a certain behavior key, which means you have to perform uh, a certain action. And, um, or maybe you have to withhold from performing a certain action, right? But nonetheless, there's a certain key that you have to use to unlock the next level of your life circumstances and to sort of spiral up, right? And if you're not able to perform the correct behavior key, then you will continue to be doomed to replay that level over and over and over again, however long it takes, right? And uh, some of these examples you could think of as, um, you know, learning how to set a limit is one. And you're going to keep on encountering people and situations that attempt to cross your boundaries or attempt to tell you what to do or to do your work for you or to tell you who you are or to tell you that you're not good enough or that you don't deserve to do whatever. And this is going to keep happening until you learn to implement the correct behavior key to change this dynamic. In this case, it might be with a limit setting example, you say, no, I don't agree with you. I do think I'm good enough. I am capable. I am going to continue on because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not going to doubt myself just because you think I should, right? And, uh, or no, this isn't your turf. This is my turf. This is my life. This is one of my duties. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the decision and you're not, right? So then you solve that, you know, task and uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, whatever, you make it to the end of that level, you get to level up your life and now you've got another problem to solve. Maybe this time um, you've got to uh, learn how to persevere and keep on going despite um, difficulties, right? What I call the fuckery that knows no limits. Situations just keep coming at you, obstacles and opposition, and they just are working overtime to try to get you to quit or to give up or to give in to their wishes and just stop moving forward, right? So... This requires a high level of staying power. And you have to be able to commit to 
assertive problem solving, facing the situation and just moving slowly but surely, intentionally forward towards your goal. And uh, when you adequately do that, I call it passing through the eye of a needle, so to speak, getting through a high pressure zone where there's lots of challenges and it seems to be too much for you to handle. It's kind of beyond your comfort zone requires you to challenge yourself to be able to, you know, achieve the goal or complete the task. Then again, you get to, you've, you've performed the correct behavior key by persevering and keeping your shit together on the way. And now you're going to unlock a higher quality of life. And maybe what this looks like is you get a raise or you get a new car, or you get a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend or partner, or you get, uh, you know, a compliment or you get some money or something. Um, but there's usually some kind of gift or reward, just like in the movies, in like, you know, The Matrix or Wonder Woman or something like that. When they solve a problem, they get a reward usually. 